YouTube, what's up? I'm Daniel and I like shoes and I've got two pairs of dunks here for you today. I'm gonna take my first look at them uh, with you on camera. I took them out of the shipping boxes because I wanted to make sure I got the, the right shoes together. I had five or six boxes that came in and I wanted the dunks together. Uh, you saw the video already, I think, or you will see it on some Jordan 1 Lows. I wanted those together. So I've already taken them out of the shipping boxes, but I haven't actually looked at these yet. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. I've got right here a Nike Dunk Low Retro White University Blue. Y'all know this one. I have seen this before in grade school. I've had a couple of these in grade school. And this is a size 10. I've got to look back at my sneakers account because I don't think for I went for a size 10 in this. I went I think I went for a size 11 because I'm a size 11. That's what I go for. Um, but it's not like sneakers is going to let me exchange this for a size 11, I don't think. Um, but I think this was one in the grade school that I liked a little bit more than the other colors. Um, I think that the materials feel just a little bit better on these than some of the other ones, than the black and whites at least. Um, I think my, and maybe it's just that it was grade school, uh, because when I got my um, Varsity Maze, the, the Michigans in, the, the quality on those felt better than the grade school. And I mean, these cost... 10 or 20 dollars more than the grade school these retail for 100 bucks um so these they, they, they do feel a little bit better than the grade school so if you've, if you've only ever felt the grade schools but you're a, a normal men's size and you're thinking about getting these the quality is better um i talk about this in a lot of my videos you can see the cut of the the leather here I believe that's real leather it may not be i'm not really sure but the cut that you can see the, the grain inside of there makes it makes me believe that it is, or it's at least partially real leather. I think in the United States, you only have to have up to us, you only need to have more than some certain percentage, which is not even close to 100% to call it real leather. Um, I think like I've seen on several of these, maybe that's supposed to be this way, but I've seen on several of these dunks that the, the swoosh and the Nike bleed into the white. This one looks a little bleated. Maybe it's supposed to be shaded like that. You can tell me what you think about that. The Nike embroidered on the back heel, I think has a couple of little blemishes in it too, nothing major. But seeing this in a, in a men's size, I like University Blue. My legends are, uh, my Legend 11 lows are some of my favorite shoes to wear here this summer. So I like University Blue and White. I don't have a problem with that, but I like this University Blue. I like the color, but I don't think I'd tow this. So uh, it's all right though. And I mean, for a hundred dollar shoe, it does look pretty good, but I've got like 70 pairs of shoes. So this one ain't for me. It might be for you though. Uh, this one has very good resale value. So for me to keep this one on the chop, keep this one off of the chopping block, and eligible for the 500 subscriber video. I'm gonna need a whole lot of likes on this video. Everybody that's subscribed better like this video if you like this shoe. Again, this is a size 10, so it's a little bit different size, a little smaller than the sizes that I normally get in men's shoes. Like I said, if you like this shoe, comment that you like it. And if I get enough likes on this video, I will keep this one. I'll go ahead and keep it for about a week, and if I get a lot of likes on this video. I mean, my, my videos right now are only getting 50 likes at most, so if I get like 200 likes on this video, I'll at least, I'll keep this one on the block, or off of the chopping block. Um, my daughter commented on this. It's kind of crazy. The size difference in these two boxes. This is a size 12. I got this one for Jeff. Jeff, this is for you. This is the Nike Dunk High Retro White Game Royal Total Orange. I didn't know that was in the colorway, but... Total orange. So this is really weird. Unboxing a shoe that's this big. It's huge. Oh man. This is the Game Royal, right? That's what it said? Game Royal? Yeah, Game Royal. This color, I like this colorway better than the UNC actually. It's just a better looking color. Um, it's pretty much the same construction, same quality. Not much different with this. Uh, this is just a better looking shoe. Uh-oh. Jeff, we got a blemish. Take a look at that close-up right above the swoosh. 
That's a definite blemish in that. You're not going to be able to see it on foot. I mean, wearing this around, nobody's ever going to see that. But it's something that I absolutely look at when I get as many shoes as I do. Uh, another thing I do like this about this dunk, the wing up here is not stitched down. Um, I don't know why I like that. I don't know what difference it makes. I don't know why some are stitched and some are not. But I like it when it's not stitched. Um, blue outsole, dark blue outsole, just a two. A two colorway shoe. I think these go for, uh, I don't know, they, this retail at 110 because it's a high as opposed to 100 for the lows. And I think these go for about 170, 200, something like that. But I got the shoe special for a friend who asked me to get it for him. So he's getting this for retail. And um, that's what I do. Sneakerheads show love. I don't even like that word, sneakerhead. I'm Daniel and I like shoes. People who like shoes, like I like shoes. Show love to their buddies when their buddies want a pair of shoes. So, uh, I kind of like the laces on this one. see, compare these laces. Did you say these laces are different? Me? Other than the color? Definitely. These are narrower, right? Yeah. Yeah. These are fatter. I kind of like these narrower laces. I like those ones. You like the other ones better? Yeah. They look like they feel a little bit different. A little bit. These might be... A little more waxy. These aren't at all, really. Yeah. So, two dunks. So I, I'm just not used to seeing such a big <laughs> shoe in my hand at my at the table. I, I I've never bought anything over an eleven that I've that I reviewed here at the table. So, um, I think I want. Like I asked this in one of my other videos, Nike, are we ever gonna get? Are, are we ever going to be done with getting enough of these two colorway standard dunks? The Celadons, uh, I can't believe that this shoe would sell to even close to as much as those Celadons sell for. That's ridiculous. Like, this is, I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice shoe. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's, it's not suede. It's not an SB. It's not a low. Low dunk highs just generally don't go for nearly as much as a dunk low, not to mention the SB. But... Maybe it's Kentucky. People like this for the for the school. I'm not really sure, but you know what, Nike? If you keep selling them, I'm gonna keep buying them. I'm gonna keep reviewing them. If you like this shoe, remember you gotta like the heck out of this video if you want this off of the chopping block. Um, I'm not planning to keep this shoe. So if you want this, the size 10, to stay in this uh, in my in for my 500 subscriber giveaway, then I need. What did I say? Like 150 likes? 150 likes on this video, and I'll save this shoe, and it'll be included. The, the Dunk Low UNC is a pretty sought-after shoe. This was a pretty big deal, so um, like it up, comment, share these with your friend. Make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell so you get notified for all these videos, and I'll see you next time.